So the Ace family has been getting talked about a lot recently. I mean, when are they not? But right now, especially ever since they announced their latest event, the Ace Fest, where they're literally selling tickets for people to meet them and their kids. And they're saying they're going to meet them all day long. Thousands of people. Noon till 10 p.m. in the hot summer sun in July. They're going to be out there all day. They're even telling people that they can bring gifts and stuff for them. It's wild. You can come at any time of the day. We're gonna be there all day long meeting you guys. You guys can bring a gift if you want to. I know in our last really small meet and greet type of thing, it was really small, it was before our last event. Um, some people brought books and gifts and stuff. You're so welcome to bring whatever you like. The craziest part to me is that they sold the tickets and didn't say what venue it was going to be at. And they told fans that by the time the tickets went on sale, they would know the date and location. Because at the time of the announcement of Ace Fest, they said they could only say that it was going to be in the Los Angeles area. One question you guys are probably asking right now, which is, when is the actual festival? When is it? When's the day? And where is it? Where's the location? So we can't give that to you today, but you'll obviously have it when the tickets go on sale. We will say that the event is here in the Los Angeles area. Which, interesting, because the festival is actually an hour plus with traffic away in Palmdale. They didn't even say where exactly in Palmdale the event was going to be held at. They only updated the site the day of the sale to say the date of the event and the broad place of the event. Hey family, I have the honor to have this event in my hometown, which is Palmdale, California. For those of you who do not know about Palmdale, it's about 45 minutes from Los Angeles. So much for promising fans that they know all the information at the time of purchase. They literally gave the bare minimum here. I mean, Austin said it was 45 minutes outside of LA. No, it's not. No, 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 no. Have you not been in traffic, Austin? Because it is not going to be 45 minutes outside of LA. But even though this all seems a little bit off, they apparently still sold out the entire event. Yeah, I know. You guys, they sold apparently every ticket that they were offering and these tickets were not cheap. I literally don't know. I, I just truly don't know how they did it. I don't know how there were that many people that wanted to spend this kind of money on the Ace family on an event in Palmdale at an event that they don't even know where it is yet. It's wild, especially when they don't even know what they just paid for. They're promising so much and I just can't wait to see how it all turns out, honestly. I hope it's not another time where their fans are scammed, but they are definitely being a little sketchy about this whole thing. I mean, I've never bought a ticket to an event that I didn't know what the heck I was signing up for. Seriously, where is this venue? And why can't you say it if you have a date? Like, doesn't that mean you would sign a contract? Then you could announce to everybody where this place is going to be? Like come on now it's just like what are you hiding what is the tea here but austin was stoked to announce that this event sold out ace family <laughs> another sellout event we'll see you guys july 9th at the ace fest <laughs> And they even advertised that they were selling merchandise for the event and that it was only going to be sold for a limited amount of time, like 48 hours. It was going to be for people that really couldn't go to their Ace Fest. They still wanted them to be a part of it by being able to have this merchandise. I don't know, you guys. And they keep calling this event their family-friendly Coachella. And I'm just saying, Coachella is all ready for all ages, believe it or not, if you guys didn't actually know that. You can go to Coachella at any age. Like, it does not matter how old you are. I think it's like kids under like five or kids under two or something like that can go for free. Technically, they don't even need to make their own little Coachella because Coachella already exists. But of course, you know, the Ace family is promising a whole Coachella, which have they ever even been to Coachella? Because Coachella is a major event. And if they are hyping their event up, like it's going to be Coachella, I can't wait to see what they do. But something really funny that happened this week was that Austin put up a poll on his Instagram asking people who should perform at their festival. And this was just laughable. So he put up the poll and it said, who should we have perform at Ace Fest? Chris Brown, Justin Bieber, Doja Cat, Catherine McBroom. And <laughs> this just makes me laugh because it's like, who wants to see Catherine perform over Justin Bieber and Doja Cat? Like, what? 
But of course, he says that Catherine won the poll. Like most people voted for Catherine. They want to see her perform over Justin Bieber and Doja Cat. He even posted on a Snapchat story talking about the results of this poll. And he said that, oh, maybe he'll perform and Catherine will perform because apparently Catherine has an unreleased song that she recorded. So technically she could have something to perform at this festival. You know how I put the little poll on my Instagram yesterday mm -hmm. about who we should have perform at our ACE festival? Mm -hmm. Guess who got the most votes? Don't say me. You. No, stop, stop, no, stop. <laughs> you did. No. So you know what that means. <laughs> you gotta perform at the Ace Family Fest. If you perform, I'll perform. I'll perform Giddy Up. Okay, yeah. You'll do it? Just because you said that. So you have to create a whole song in time for the festival. I have a song. Unreleased song. Okay, are we really doing it? You really got the most votes, I swear. You over you had like over fifty thousand votes. What? Yes, I know. Fifty thousand people voted that they want you to perform. Girl, you better be ready. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys are promoting a Coachella for kids. You're also saying that you're gonna meet people all day long at your meet and greet. You're gonna meet thousands of people. Yet now you're saying that you're going to be performing at this festival. How are you gonna have time to meet people? Like, I'm so confused. And it's also like, you're, <laughs> it's just gonna be like you and Catherine like performing. <laughs> okay, this is so interesting. I really, truly, you guys, I cannot wait to see how this is all going to unfold. But something else, you guys, if you remember when I first mentioned that the Ace Family was doing this event, I said that the Ace Family was offering the chance for someone who buys a VIP ticket, the opportunity to be entered for a chance to attend their wedding. And if you guys didn't know, Austin and Catherine, they are married, but they never had a big wedding. And they said they wanted to give their fans the chance to be a part of their big day, which Wow, I didn't know how much they actually really wanted this, but you guys, that is just not all. It is not just them inviting, you know, a couple people to their wedding that bought VIP. It is much more than that now because they posted a video on their channel titled Our Official Wedding Date. They said that they set the date they are going to get married on September 9th of 2022. And they said in this video that they were going to go to different wedding venues and look at different places that they were possibly maybe going to have their wedding at. Catherine was throwing out just crazy ideas she was like okay maybe we got married somewhere that's like a little bit more intimate and then we have this big party and then austin decided to match her crazy ideas and he threw out the idea of having their entire ace family fan base at their wedding yeah mm -hmm. this place is so big that we could probably try and have our entire ace family with us like 20 to 40 000 people here what you know it could fit it. It might be a little hectic and outrageous, but... That would be insane. We have to get it like an actual arena and make that happen. We can't just... Babe, this place is 100 acres. I know, but there's no parking for 40,000 people. They started to say that they could just live stream the entire wedding for their fans so that their fans could be a part of their wedding. But then they were throwing out ideas of renting out Dodger Stadium, having like 60,000 of their subscribers at their wedding. I thought of something and like tell me if this is a good idea or not in the comments, okay? What if we did our wedding at the Dodger Stadium? Okay, listen to this, all right? How many people does it fit? I want to say 60 to 80,000. Okay, so 60 to 80,000 seats, all right? We have you guys all there in the seats and we just throw this big wedding for the ceremony of our love and our union and we live stream it and I mean is that possible? Yes, it is. It, it's it's a lot, but if we really want to do it. Like it can I mean be done. at this point like it, it's like anything we, is possible at this point. We should point. just do it. I mean, you guys, it was nuts. And they were saying Dodger Stadium and then Catherine was like, how do we make it free? How can we make it like for free, for everyone to just go for free? Is that possible? I mean, yeah, just we have to really strategically plan this thing. Like this is expensive. I mean, seriously, but you guys, the funniest part to me is 
While Austin and Catherine were being so extra trying to say that they want to display their wedding in this way and invite all their subscribers to their wedding, the Ace Family fans were like, don't do that. Like, please do not do that. Have an intimate wedding, please. Like, you do not need to do all of that. Austin and Catherine kept saying that they wanted Ace Family fans to be a part of their wedding because they've been along for the journey. And I feel like for us not to have a wedding with you guys a part of it would just be kind of strange. Yeah. So. So we're still trying to figure out that aspect. The Ace Family fans are like, no, we don't need to be there because all of the top comments you guys are saying, please, no. They said, everything doesn't need to be perfect, Kathy. A small and romantic wedding will be beautiful than doing stadium and all. I think you should just have close family and friends. A wedding day is very special and should be spent with the ones you love. Can't wait to see the video of the day. Keep the wedding between you and the family. A wedding is a beautiful thing that you should enjoy within each other. My wedding was a super small wedding and it was beyond beautiful because it was about just my husband and I. The love between y'all would definitely be displayed in front of people who truly are for your marriage. I think the wedding should be an intimate thing with family and close friends. We will definitely be able to see the vlog afterwards. A wedding is stressful as is. So just keep it an intimate thing so you guys can truly, truly enjoy your day. I definitely agree with all the comments and that they should just keep it intimate, but I don't think that's what they want. I think they want this big display. They want the bragging rights that all their fans are there. This is not about like the wedding for them. This is really about look at how big we are. Look at how many people want to be here. They even talked about how people would probably hate on them for doing this, but they'd gain a lot of fans for doing this. And I don't know, it sounds more like a business deal than a wedding to me, uh, but you know, let them do them, I guess. We would get so much hate for it, <laughs> but yet we would also gain so much more fans. And I feel like our fans, our true fans, our OG fans, they, I feel like they would just love it, No, right? they would love it, they right? would love it. But we would just get so much hate for it. They just felt like it would be weird not having their fans a part of the day. And I think that posting a video onto their YouTube channel will definitely be just fine. And their fans seem pretty okay with the fact that, you know, they would just get to be there virtually. So I definitely want to know what you guys think about all that is going on with the Ace family. Cause it's pretty interesting. I love you guys so much. Let me know in the comments down below. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.